What's up guys? Today we are talking about FTM facial hair. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about whether you need to be on T, whether you need to be off T, whether you're years on T, or whether you're about to start T soon. Let's talk about what will enhance your peach fuzz. First of all, a lot of people ask me, um, do you need to be on HRT to get a beard? Obviously, it would help tremendously, right? Like, it makes you hairier, makes it more dense. It's not actually required, though, for you to be on tea to have a beard. A lot of people use minoxidil, which is um, a way to be able to promote more hair growth and increase the density around your hair, around your hair. Increase the density of your beard. Now, I myself am uh, a year in, about a year and nine months on tea, so I'm definitely getting closer to the two year mark. And if, as you can see, I definitely have a good amount of beard hair, right? Like under my chin especially. On my cheeks, it's coming in pretty well. It just needs to get a little more thicker on the sides. Um, but I'm definitely getting some. Now I could enhance this even more and use the minoxidil on top of tea and that would, I'm sure, fill it out completely. All you gotta do is run a quick YouTube search for minoxidil results on tea and there'll be a bunch of info for you there be able to know more about minoxidil and how it can affect your beard growth on testosterone and off testosterone. As always though, make sure to do your research. Number two, a big myth surrounding having a beard, whether you're on or off tea, is shaving it for it to come in thicker. Now, I can understand why some people might think this, but the fact of the matter is, and I've tested this, is in my experience, it did not help. When I first started tea, I started getting a little bit of baby hairs on my lip and I had a little bit under my chin and I'm like, I gotta go out and buy a razor, like right now, I've gotta do it. But mainly it was because I was just so excited to be able to shave and be able to have that option that I wanted to shave. So I barely had anything and I went and got a razor and shaved it all off. And oh my God, I immediately regretted it because I didn't like the way that I looked with it. I liked me, I liked me with a beard a lot better than when I didn't have a beard at all. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope this reed grows back in super dark and super thick, but that wasn't the case. I wish it was the case. It would make a lot of things easier for us, especially if you're pre t but it didn't. It didn't grow in uh, darker or thicker. The best thing that helped me have it grow in and grow out was not touching it. Letting it grow out, not touching it. Letting it get a little scraggly here and there. Like right now, my beard is not 100% trimmed up. Like. I still got these like random hairs or whatever and I don't use like a regular guard or anything like that but I'm just letting it grow out so that way it will get the thickest it can, the darkest it can. I have not shaved my beard completely down since that probably one month on tea that I tried it and I right now I just use my razors just to kind of clean up the craziness. The worst part though about letting your facial hair grow out is the fact that it gets that itchy feeling and it's dry and you're like, oh, what is this? So you gotta get some kind of beard butter or beard oil. You can get them at Walmart if you're not trying to drop a pretty penny on it. But definitely get some kind of oil or butter and it will really, really, really help you out because it won't, it'll make it less itchy. It'll moisturize not only your skin, but the hair on your face as well, which really helps a ton. My third tip is genetics. Obviously, if your dad or your brother are, are having trouble growing out a beard themselves, it's probably gonna be hard for you to grow one out as well. Like it definitely matters. Look at the men in your family. Look at the, you look at your dad, your brother, your uncles, your grandpa. Look at those kinds of people in your life or in your family that have beards and see if they've grown in dark. See if they can grow one at all. A lot of guys can't. So it just depends on the genetics and unfortunately that part is kind of out of our hands. When it's all said and done, it's really tough to grow out your facial hair. Only be mainly because of the patience that it takes. Like you want to mess with it, you want to trim it, you want to shave because you want that feeling of being like, oh, I like to shave now. Like at least in my experience, I wanted that. The best thing you can do is just to leave it be, let it grow out. It's gonna take patience. Like I said, I'm 20 months on T, and I still don't have these connectors. My upper lip is not super dark, but you know, I've, I've just got to be patient. I got to leave it be and let it let it grow out as it does. And probably one of the most important things about your facial hair is try not to compare yourself to others. I know it's super easy to do because you follow people that transition and you want your beard to look a certain way, but your journey is your own. Like you can't compare yourself to someone else's journey. You have to focus on you and what you have. Like if you've got a little bit of stubble up here and that's all you've got, like be damn proud of your stubble. Like rock that shit. Like, but you can't sit there and like look at Instagram and be like, oh my gosh, this guy's got a full beard. Oh, I wish mine looked like that. And I'm not saying I'm not guilty. Like I 
find myself all the time like looking at people's beards and being like, oh, why can't mine look like theirs? But at the same time, I gotta be thankful. Like, there's other people that wish their beards were coming in as much as mine, so I'm, I gotta make sure to keep that in check. At the end of the day, we're all on our own path. There's only one you. Yes, you looking at the video right now. There's only one of you. And you gotta be thankful for the journey. Be proud of that journey that it took for you to become your authentic self. Be proud of that. All I'm trying to say is try to leave it alone if you wanna grow it out. Let it do its thing and just maintenance. Make sure that you know that genetics plays a part in this. Genetics will affect how much your beard does grow out. And then there's also other products if you're really, really wanting to look into that, like minoxidil and stuff like that, um, that you can do research on. But remember, you are your own person on your own path and be thankful for that path because other people might be wishing they were on it. If you like this video, I appreciate you clicking the subscribe button down below so that way you can stay up to date with all my new videos that are coming out as well as film projects that I do for other kind of LGBT businesses. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I appreciate you. I love each and every one of you guys. And I'll see you guys super soon. Stay positive out there. Enjoy the summertime if it's summertime where you're at while it lasts. I'll talk to you guys soon.